everyone, I'm Rachel from the blog Rachel the Hat and today I wanted to bring you um, a vlog um, with a little bit of personal insight. I was talking on Insta Stories the other day about guilty pleasures. Now we all have them. They're like little secrets that we kind of perhaps don't divulge very often. You know, those things that you do perhaps when no one else is around or when you're like just at home guilty pleasures and I have many so I wanted to share with you today my five guilty pleasures and um, if you're new around here I'm new around here so please do subscribe and um, give this a thumbs up if you would be so kind also share below what your guilty pleasures are because I would love to know there were some really really interesting ones on insta stories that people dm'd me it's so funny um, but I will get cracking with my guilty pleasures so I'm going to be starting with something that I absolutely adore but I don't admit to very often is leggings I absolutely love leggings in fact I don't know whether you can see I have them on now <laughs> when I'm at home there is nothing I love more than when I just get in after scoring or whatever and I take off my outdoor clothes my big girl clothes and I put on a nice comfy pair of lycra leggings they are absolutely the most comfy thing to lounge about the house in um attractive they are not in fact I'm sorry if you do like leggings but I can't stand them outside of the house I just think no they belong in the 80s. See, this is why it's a guilty pleasure because I say that, no, I don't like them generally, but inside, I love them. I love, 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 love leggings. They're just so comfy and you could like still wear a nice jumper with it and feel like kind of half decent, but on the bottom, I'm all about the comfort. I am yet to meet a girl that is comfortable to lounge around in skinny jeans. I mean, even the ones with lycra, I'm sorry, that you wanna unpop that top button after a few hours, don't you? Well, I do anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, leggings, I am all about comfort when I'm inside the home. So that's my guilty pleasure number one. Guilty pleasure number two. Um, I love to stand in my kitchen and eat crackers with cheese. Now I'm gluten-free and um, plant-based, so <laughs> It's quite fussy, quite particular. So these are my guilty pleasures. I stand in the kitchen, I don't even get a plate, and I stand one cracker at a time, scrape some cheese on, put a bit of um, this Vio Life cheese on, which is my favorite, and I stand there and devour them. Now I will do this a couple of times a day, so I'm talking like peckish around 10.30, go and have some crackers and cheese. Hungry again, like at say three o'clock, We'll have some crackers and cheese in the evening while everyone else is like pottering around the house sneak into the kitchen crackers and cheese i love it i just it's just so moorish and just so comforting not great for the diet but hey you only live once and that is definitely my my favorite guilty pleasure standing in the kitchen and just doing myself a couple of crackers i think the reason i do it in the kitchen as well is because if i kind of walk into the living room everyone will want some and i i don't share rachel doesn't share food so this is my my little thing i stand there put my cheese on and just devour it and it's yummy um so my next guilty pleasure is now i feel like literally ashamed almost to say this because it's just like oh 50 shades of grey. Now, I was so late to the 50 shades of grey um, bandwagon. I literally only read them three months ago maybe and watched the movies. Oh, I fell in love with the whole scenario. Well, you know, <laughs> um, that I love a strong character and yeah, obviously Christian Grey, such a strong character so I love the books and I've watched the movies a couple of times now as well movies aren't as good but I love getting lost in character development and things so much so that I then went and researched not researched I looked on Amazon and they suggested it so that's not really research I didn't bloody spend hours on the internet searching for like kind of the same books but this series so if you like the Fifty Shades series like I did which I am ashamed to say because I do love to read and I do feel like that's modern day equivalent of Mills and Boone but you know guilty pleasures I'm allowed them this is Something if you like, as I was saying, if you like Fifty Shades, you will like these books. This is This Man series by Jodie Ellen Malpas. So it's This Man, and then I think it was uh, Beneath This Man, and then This Man Confessed. So it's a trilogy like the Fifty Shades. It's very similar. That was the thing. Oh, sorry. Rock you there. Um, 
I wasn't ready to give up Fifty Shades. I was so in that frame of mind of a strong male character and a woman coming in and kind of changing things. I really loved it. Um, and this is very similar. Very good. I'm not sure if it's as good. It's very, very similar. Very good. I enjoyed the trilogy. I devoured them within a couple of weeks. Um, highly recommend if you, like me, like the Fifty Shades trilogy and that kind of genre of books, which I don't normally go for. I am a little bit of a book snob, so that's why it's in my guilty pleasure department. Um, next up um, is TV. Now, I don't watch a lot of TV. We don't watch a lot in this house. In general, we don't watch EastEnders or anything. In fact, we don't have mainstream TV or Sky, as we call it here, or Virgin Network. We don't have it. We just have everything through our computer. So we have Netflix and Amazon Prime. Um, but uh, yeah, so I don't watch, you know, any daytime TV. I don't watch any um, soap operas or anything like that. But my, I have a guilty pleasure when it comes to TV. And that is two things, actually. Only Fools and Horses reruns. I can watch them constantly. There's some on um, Netflix at the moment and I will watch them again and again and again. Only Fools and Horses to me is like, my youth, I grew up watching it and it's like a comfort blanket. So if I'm feeling a bit low or I'm just not even low, I just want to watch something on in the background, only Fools and Horses on every single time. And my other one, which I have watched the complete six series, six season, seven maybe, Downton Abbey. And I've watched them probably three times around maybe and I could watch it again. I love it. Again, I get lost in the whole character developments, the plots. Oh, I just love it. The drama. Downton Abbey. Oh, I love it. And I actually want to go to Highclere Castle where they film it. I think it's Highclere Castle. I will check. Um, but yes, Downton Abbey, massive guilty pleasure. I could quite easily watch that every day, without a doubt. That's terrible, isn't it? Um, could be worse, couldn't it? What's your guilty pleasure with TV? Is it the Kardashians, EastEnders? Let me know. Um, finally, another watching thing, my fifth um, guilty pleasure is vlogs. I love to watch vlogs and I, one in particular that I love, which I feel is so not my age bracket, is Zoella, Zoe Sug. I, I love watching her um, vlogs, her daily vlogs. I don't even really watch her uh, main channel ones because there's a lot of makeup and things and I'm pretty rigid on my makeup. I don't really flex that much. Um, so Zoella blogs, vlogs, sorry, Oh, I love to watch them. When I'm doing my makeup and putting, you know, doing my hair, I just put them on my phone and have them on. And she just looks like she has so much fun and she's got sort of a contagious personality in a good way. That sounds like a disease, but I mean it in a good way. She's lovely. Um, and it's just nice to see people having fun sometimes, I think. And it's just really easy watching in the background. I think it's that voyeuristic sense that you're kind of viewing someone hence like why reality tv does so well these days and obviously vlogs do too um i i just really like to watch vlogs there's a few as well uh Fleur de force is the other one she was one of the first people i ever followed on youtube again i love the vlogs possibly more than i love mainstream sort of uh beauty buys and things like that so yes i love to watch daily vlogging and I could watch one after the other after the other because I find them quite addictive. So yes, that is, in fact, my five um, guilty pleasures. And yeah, it feels good. It feels good to say it out loud. Let me know in the comments below what your guilty pleasures are. I really, really want to know. Um, and there's no judgment. This is a judgment-free area. Feel free to say whatever your guilty pleasures are. <laughs> And yes, like I said, don't forget to give this a subscribe or me a subscribe. I'll be over on my blog in the meantime. If you want to catch me or on Instagram, it's at Rachel the Hat. And I will see you very soon.